So in this problem, we're told to evaluate the indefinite integral you see for the constant of integration, and we're given the integral of x to the 37 times the sine of x to the 38 dx. So we're going to have to use u substitution. So the first thing that we have to do is decide what we're going to choose to be u. So generally, when you have like the sine of something, you want to choose what's on the inside to be your u. We can see that checks out too, because if we take the derivative of this, it's going to be become x to the 37, right? So it could cancel this. So what we're going to do is set u to be x raised to the 38. So now what we want to do is find the derivative of this, so du. And then let's take the derivative of x to the 38. It's going to become 38x raised to the 37, right? Move it out front and subtract 1. Then we also have to multiply by dx, right? So now what we want to do is solve for dx. So we just divide both sides by 38x to the 37. And then when we do that, we'll get that du, or dx, is going to be equal to du divided by 38x to the 37. Now what we want to do, rewrite our integral. So x to the 37 times the sine, and then whenever you see x to the 38, replace it with u. So times the sine of u. And then you also want to replace dx with what we solved it to be. So du over 38x to the 37. So now we've got it in this form. What we can see here is that x to the 37 will cancel with this one. And then the 1 over 38 will just move out front. So it's just going to become 1 over 38 times the sine of u du. And so now what we've got to do is find the antiderivative of this and then plug in u. So what we want to do is, uh, so the antiderivative of sine of u is going to be minus cosine of u, right? So if that's minus cosine of u, you just multiply by our constant out front. So minus 1 over 38 times the cosine of u. And then whenever you take uh, the antiderivative, you have to add plus c, right? So plus c. And then now that we got it like this, all we got to do is replace u with what it actually is. And so we decided that u was x to the 38, right? So it's going to become minus 1 over 38 times the sine of u, which is x to the 38, and then plus c, or cosine, my bad, that side. My, minus 1 over 38 times the cosine of x to the 38 plus c. So this right here is going to be your final answer.